Hey. The man does give a good haircut. You know, I could have sworn I had you with me the whole trial. Oh, you did. Then you won't mind telling me why you voted to acquit. He refused to turn his back on his family no matter what the cost. We didn't want to turn our backs on him. Very compelling. Never mind the law, but I'm sure it'll play real well back at the office. You don't like to lose. Not like this. Not when the facts make it unbelievably unlikely that he didn't know what was going on. This case wasn't about probability. Like the defense lawyer said, it was about who do you trust. We trusted Eric Barnett. But don't get me wrong, Mr. McGrath. You were still very persuasive. Um, here's my card. You should use it. Um. You said a trial would send a message of tolerance. The point is, you didn't ask me. You'd have said no. Exactly. I was trying to help. By doing an end run around my boss, you, you humiliated me. It was supposed to be discreet. Is that your version of an apology? I'm sorry you were embarrassed. <laughs> wow. That's it? You got the right outcome. Shouldn't that override your personal feelings? So now we're talking about the greater good? Yes. The greatest good would be for you to mind your own business. You're welcome. <sighs> Amelia, we got to be able to trust each other. I didn't ask you to sit down, Marcus. You want an apology, and I want to thank you. Looks like we're both getting disappointed. You really don't understand. Yes, I do. You're upset about the process. But you can't tell me you're not happy with the results. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Ivy Mills. Evening, Mr. Chess. You still up for business? Nice work tonight, Ivy. Scotch? Bourbon. You got yourself a record company. Well, whatever you think you're worth, just pick a number, write it down. Mr. Chess, I'll take whatever you want to pay me. I got debt up to my eyes. No, what I'm saying is... I know what you're saying. You want me to tell you what I think I'm worth? Problem is, catch me on the wrong day, I'll be writing down a big fat zero. Maybe this here one of them wrong days. How about I pay off your debt for starters, and we see how things go from there? I can't promise you I'll pay you back. Money don't seem to stay long in my pocket. I'm betting you'll make it. If you do, you pay me back. If you don't, you don't owe me a thing. Oh. 
Why are you doing this for me, Mr. Chess? You want to fuck me? to be seen before noon. I don't never look my best. I don't tell anyone. No, you won't, because you're a good man, ain't you, Mr. Chess? Yeah, I'm a saint. What am I gonna do with you? You got a real gift. What a voice that girl got. Mm, gift from God. But here's what God and the devil never sorted things out, because I could sing better when I'm all doped up. What kind of gift is that? Hey, anyone who says they sing as good high, says they play as good high is bullshit. They think they do, but they don't. Mm -hmm. Well, I ain't just anyone. Sometimes I feel like a motherless child. Sometimes I feel like a motherless child a long way from home. Hey, Fess, you know what was awesome? The time you rode that tree. How did he ride a tree? Oh, he climbed it, Kelso cut it down. A million stories and you know each other so well it's like you have your own language i don't even understand half the things you say huh. if you understand anything that fez says you're the only one <laughs> <laughs> oh kelso can't understand me now i know how it feels to be a book a book! <laughs> see man i want to burn somebody so i can be part of the gang hey eric can i have some of your fries sure well i don't want any <laughs> I think you're confusing a burn with just talking. Eric, can I have some fries? Yeah, help yourself. <laughs> burn! <laughs> yeah, um, I knew you were going to do that, so I spit at him. Burn! <laughs> You ain't a spit! Burn! <laughs> uh, that's a piggyback burn. We don't do that. Hey, dorks. Listen, uh, Angie had a really rough day at work, so I'm gonna rub her feet, and you might want to clear out before I start rubbing other stuff. <laughs> Eric, come over later. We'll game. Who is that guy? That's this guy. I don't care. Burn! <laughs> Angie, uh, you're cute as a button, but you burn like a botard. <laughs> Look, if you want to burn someone, you got to embarrass them to make other people laugh. You want to combine the elements of uh, humiliation and surprise. <clears throat> Dude, what the hell? <laughs> oh, oh, hey. Jackie, uh, I saw your show. It isn't as good as a lot of other shows. I freaked out. I mean, the cameras turned on, and I realized I'm completely alone. I'm alone on TV, and I'm alone in real life. I don't know what I'm going to do. I forgot to tell you the part about you don't burn someone who's already crying. <laughs> 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 <laughs>